Hello everyone. So watercolor is becoming a huge trend again in the stamping card making industry here and the peerless watercolors I predict are going to be extremely popular. Um, the online card classes watercolor class starts in a few days. Um, if you're not aware I'll post a link to them in my um, blog because yeah, they teach, they're wonderful. They do great classes. So I have a, um, Jennifer McGuire has hinted that she just started trying these and loves them. So I think they're gonna sell out everywhere. <laughs> but I've actually had mine for years. Um, I stopped using them for the longest time because nobody carried them. And well, of course the site itself does, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, um, I kind of had them in a drawer, forgot about them, pulled them out again a couple weeks ago and I just, was just playing around and then saw um, people asking questions about them and that and thought I should finally do a review. So this is the little like starter pack and it comes just like this. They're kind of unique. I've never seen any type of coloring medium come like this, but it's very, very old. They're, they um, have all kinds of like history and stuff in the beginning. It's really kind of neat. And if you go on their website and stuff too, they talk about um, this kind of stuff. It's really cool. So there's all this info in the beginning and then it gets into the actual colors. And in this little starter pack, um, there's, I'm not even sure exactly how many colors are in it, but you get a really good basic set of colors and they come just like this. So they don't look like anything special. It's like a piece of cardstock with some like residue on it basically. And there's all sorts of colors. There's yellows, reds, um, oranges, pinks, browns. Like this starter pack itself is perfect. And it's very um, affordable. It's around usually $14 US. Um, I originally got mine from Stamping Bell and that's what I paid. And it's going to last you a really long time. So basically there are Kind of a couple ways you can use this. You can either pick up the color directly from the paper or what you can also do, which for me, I had a, I have a hard time doing this. One, I don't need, when you're a card maker like me, you don't need to do this. Um, but if you're wanting to do like large color washes and that kind of stuff is you just cut off just a little piece. You don't need very much at all. Just a tiny little piece. Um, you need a little palette and just get some water in there. It doesn't take very much water. The larger the piece, the more water you need, but you just take that, pop it in there, and then I just use my really fine tweezers, and all the color is gonna come off of that. And then you've got a transparent watercolor to use. So once you get all the color off, sometimes it might take a while, you wanna make sure you really get it all off there so you get all the color. You have all the color off, then you can just take this little piece of paper out and you've got your watercolor. So simple as that. Then you just pick it up and you've got a wash. So like I said, depending on how much water you use or how much you add to it, you could have tons of color, but there is a lot of color in these. They're really cool. And what's really neat about them is how nicely they blend. So this is another way you can use them is rather than cutting a piece is you can just pick up the color directly from the sheet. Add a little bit more water and you can just see how much color is in these and they blend beautifully. Like they're really fun to play with. So, um, so yeah, there's all sorts of, I'm sure, techniques you can do. But yeah, one little book, like I said, is gonna give you tons and tons and tons of playtime. But it's really neat how beautifully they blend. So, and then obviously if you're picking it up from the paper, you wanna let it dry before you put it back into your book. And you don't wanna get this book wet. <laughs> So be very careful with it, keep it dry. Um, I've kept mine in a drawer so they've been fine. Um, you could store them in like a plastic bag. So that's also a great way. So and then it's also a great way to transport them is toss these in like a Ziploc bag, bring some watercolor paper and a watercolor brush and you're good to go. So they're really, really cool. I really like mine. Um, other than the basic pack, there's also packs like this. This is the bonus 40 sheet pack with literally 40 small sheets um, of colors 
So they look kind of crazy on like the actual color side, but all of them, when you flip them over, this is the color they'll be on watercolor paper. So isn't that just so, so pretty? Really cool. So there's, yeah, different packs available. Um, I have some older, like limited edition packs that they release sometimes. Um, now with them being popular again, they might start re-releasing some of this stuff, which is a lot of fun. Um, CC Designs was able to get these back in, so that's also why I'm doing this little review. So there is retailers for them. Um, Simon Says Stamp is carrying them again. I know they sold out their first shipment already because, yeah, Jennifer McGuire mentioned it on her Facebook page, I think. And it sold out within 15 minutes, I think. So um, you'll have to keep checking back there. Um, I'll post a link below my video, like um, to my blog post, and then I'll post links. And yeah, these are going to be, I think, a lot of fun. I'll have a video coming up right away with a card. I didn't really like how the card turned out, but it'll just show these again, and then I'll show more. I have a couple other fun little techniques I'd come up with um, using these, and yeah, I'm kind of glad that they're finally like back in vogue. I should have been using them regardless, but I'm glad that retailers are carrying them again, because for me, doing my videos, everything else, it's really hard to use products that aren't available. I get a lot of angry emails. So I'm really glad these are kind of back because they're actually a lot of fun. I'm glad I was reminded about them. They're really fun to play with and yeah, they're kind of idiot proof, which for me is a good thing. <laughs> like you can just pick up color and go, but yeah, once you start experimenting with the blending, like you can see here where I didn't really mess it all up, like they just blend so nicely. They're a lot of fun. So in really good quality and like I said the price is great. So I highly 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 recommend them like two thumbs up two thumbs So thank you guys so much for watching and yeah The link will be below to my blog post and then the links to everything and I will see you guys in the next video Bye